You're down and lost Freddie for a while. What's this do for you guys to, to win a game like this on the road? What's well, it, it, the tough thing about it is, if you look at our non-conference schedule, we've played, in those six games that we played, we played the top three teams four times. And we felt like that we were in every game. Uh, you know, obviously, you look at Northeastern, we went up to Northeastern and got a great road win. Uh, we felt like that we played a very good uh, game against Hofstra in the uh, beginning of the year. And certainly, you know, give them their credit, they just out-toughed us and found a way to win. And then, you know, you take a women Murray team where you're up, you know, 20 against New the League. We just wanted to stay the course. A lot of times when you lose a game, you overthink things and you try to switch too much stuff. We want to continue to do the things that we did just to get the lead and all that other stuff. And I'm proud of these guys because you're right, you know, we, uh, we've had a hard time playing 40 minutes and I thought we did tonight. Was it tough kind of keeping that that uh, pre-game perspective going when you lose Freddie for a while and, and getting his fouls out and you're down six with a couple minutes to play? No, not really because, we, you know, we've got a tight rotation and, you know, all of the guys that we use are used to playing. So we know uh, in every game that we're going to have somebody in foul trouble. And, uh, you know, obviously it was today was uh, Gettys and, you know, Freddie got hurt a little bit. So we just stayed the course. I give a lot of guys credit for coming in, being ready when the name was called. Freddie, one of your senior leaders, when he goes down like that, what does it say about him? What does it do for your team when he's able to return? Well, I'm proud of him because, you know, certainly when a guy goes down, as a coach, you don't know the degree of it. And, you know, you know it showed me a lot about him. I, I never want to put a guy on the floor where he's hurt and can't play. But, you know, he's tapping me on my shoulder saying, Coach, I'm ready to go. So it showed me a lot about him. Uh, what do you think it did for the rest of the players it, after he went down? Uh, you got a I just, I just think we just you know, continue to play. I, I really, to be honest with you, I don't think anybody, you know, this is one of those teams where we don't really have a guy. I know Freddie leads us in t statistics as far as scoring, but we really don't have a guy that, um, you know, on any given night somebody can lead us in scoring. Addison Spruill did the same thing with his women, Murray, and, you know, suddenly Craig Ponders had his night. So I just think we didn't miss a beat and we kept playing. Can you build off this, you know, the, the end game performance and come back and pitching off a top, top three team? We hope so. We hope so. I mean, we like what we had. You know, it's, it's tough. These guys have invited me into their program, and they've accepted the way I want to play. And, um, you know, certainly to get off to a 4-2 you know, start and having the opportunity to go on the road and win two big games is a plus for us. So hopefully we can do it.